Hey guys, it's a beautiful night outside and it is the perfect time for us to get out the new Milwaukee M18 rocket light. This is a 6,000 lumen light. You can see it in front of us. We're going to go through this thing top to bottom, talk about it, try to show you the amount of light that comes out of this thing. Stick with us. I think this is a great way to try to demonstrate how much light actually comes off this rocket light from Milwaukee. It lights up the whole barn on the outside. And if we didn't have some of the larger trailers here, you could be able to see the immense amount of light that not only goes over the barn, but outside the edges into the woods on each side. It's pretty serious. Let's turn this a little bit and see how we can light up the field. I never know how good this is gonna come through on final edit. Uh, this is cornfield back here. Uh, we're solid, probably 40 yards from the main corn, maybe 75 feet from this corn up front. This is intense. I mean, we're talking about lighting up the whole field. Uh, we're throwing out an acre of light. That's pretty amazing when you look at this light and what you could do with it on an excavation site or what would it even do inside a job site, inside a building. All of that light is coming from this head that is completely adjustable. You can move it up, turn it around, you can pull these lights down. And while you're looking at it, we have everything shooting forward, which is absolutely amazing. We have 6,000 lumens that per our testing will run at about 26 minutes per amp hour. Then if you go down to low, which is 1700 lumens, you're getting about 75 minutes of runtime per amp hour of battery that you put in here. Now this is adjustable from four to seven feet. So you can push it down. It does have a nice little storage compartment here. So your LED lights are protected while in storage. It's easy to set up and move around. I mean, you can have this set up in seconds, ready to rock and roll. Everything here works as you would expect it with zero issue. Operation of the light couldn't get any simpler. You just push the power button to turn it on. If you want to drop down to a lesser amount of light, you push the negative button. If you want to go up to a larger amount of light, you push the positive button. When you turn the unit off with the power button, it'll turn off obviously, but when you turn it back on, it'll turn back on in the same state that it was. We're on battery power here, so we show a little battery icon. When you plug it in, you'll see a little plug icon over here, letting you know what power it's running off of. Just next to the controls is a USB. You can plug into this, and if you push the power button next to it, it will turn on the charging. So you can use that for anything 2.1 amps and below. This light can be run off of power or battery, or while plugged in, it will actually charge your battery. Here it's giving you an indicator telling you that this eight amp hour battery that's in here is fully charged, but it's just like any normal Milwaukee charger. When you plug a battery in, it'll either be green or red or a combination of those, letting you know what's going on with the charger. In their folded position, these lights have a nice carry rail. You can balance them pretty easily, even if you have a battery installed, even if it's a large battery. Easy to carry around, easy to store. So that's the quick rundown of the features and specs on this Milwaukee rocket light. They've updated this, they've made it better, they've made it easier to carry. I like it. I do like these lights for more than one purpose, especially when you're inside. And I know I didn't show a lot of inside shots on this because it's a little more difficult for me to set up and really show you how much better the lighting is. In a low light situation, this really helps out a lot. And you can get that light anywhere from four to seven foot in the air just by putting this up and having the tripod sitting there. That's, to me, perfect. The fact that you can charge a battery on it is even better if you are in that situation because if you want to plug in, great, you can have your battery charged. When you move to the next situation, you might not have a plug, awesome. The only thing that I think would be really cool would be to have a small three foot, four foot extension cable that you could pull out of this guy or have a place to store it so you would have a plug with you or a cord with you at all times. Other than that, this thing's great. Excavation outside, Detailing your cars inside is really where I like to use this. You'll also see this light or you won't see this light, but you'll see the light from it while we're working close on tools on this bench. I use it a ton in videography. So 
it just works out well. If you're in the trades, this is a no-brainer. It moves around with you, it stores easy, it's very durable, it works well, it's on its umpteenth generation, which is just continuing to get better and better. So I appreciate what Milwaukee's doing here. Check it out if it works for you. I think it's one of those things that for me, I can't live without just due to what we complete in this shop. It's needed. We don't have, we have excellent lighting, but we don't have the greatest lighting for everything. And I think you'll find that in a lot of different places on the job site and in your shop. So comments, love to hear them as normal. Leave them down below. I'd like to see or hear from you guys as to what you'd like to see lit up outside on some of the other lights, because I'm trying to do my best to show you how much light comes out, but it never comes out just perfectly on the video camera. As always guys, give us a like on this video if you can. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.